So Declan Black did a uh, video this morning. I'll link it. Uh, Tucker Carlson, who is on Fox News, is talking to a radical, radical pro-abortion uh, woman. Her name is Monica Klein. She founded something called Seneca Strategies, which, of course, is named after the 1848 Seneca Falls Convention for the Women's Rights. So Tucker has a simple question to ask this robot. And she will not everything she can to avoid answering the question. Uh, because it's my opinion, she can't. She's a programmed robot. She is a mindless drone spewing propaganda about abortion. Let's get to the tape. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you describe yourself as pro-choice. I bet a lot of people watching right now think of themselves as pro-choice. Um, so I'm not attacking you for that. But I, I wonder what you think of what Dr. Northam, the governor of Virginia, just said. He's a pediatrician, <laughs> by the way. That when a child, he described the child as an infant, um, is born, there's a point where the mother and the physician can decide whether to kill the infant or not. Post-birth abortion is what we're talking about here, people. No, it's not abortion. It's murder. It's infanticide. There is absolutely no other way to look at this. What do you think of that? Look, Tucker, I understand that you want to go back to a time where uh, Roe v. Wade was illegal, where women were having don't, back don't alley abortions, just, and on, they were uh, using so, coat look, hangers look, to have abortions, right, which is right, actually right, what's look, barbaric. I, I'm That's barbaric. But uh, sucking a baby's brains out right when they're being born is perfectly fine. Because it's a choice, isn't it, Monica? It gets worse, people. It gets worse. Giving you time to make a real to make a real argument. I'm not arguing for the repeal of Roe v. Wade. I'm Even if he were, he has no power to do anything about it, Monica. You 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 understand? Oh, well, that's right. All white men are in positions of power. I keep forgetting the mantra. Very straightforward. That is person. what you're I'm, essentially I'm, I, I actually, saying. Actually, no, that's not what I'm arguing. And please don't be tiresome. The governor of Virginia, who's a Rising star in the Democratic Party just said this. There's pending legislation that mirrors it. And I'm asking you what you think of it. That's it. She can't answer, Tucker. She is not allowed to think. She is a robot. She is a soulless devil. And of course she agrees with it. I think that right now, reproductive health care is under attack by the Republican Party. Would you care? To just point out a couple of these reproductive... Oh, Louisiana. Louisiana. You didn't mention that. I wouldn't expect you to actually bring any data into the discussion. 72% of Americans support the right to choose, and yet we have Trump and we have sexual predator Kavanaugh okay. trying to repeal Roe v. Wade and trying to take away our control okay. of our own bodies. This isn't about okay. babies. This isn't about health care. This is about you attempting to control women's bodies. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's full of a bunch of bullshit, isn't it? We already talked about it. Roe v. Wade gets repealed. It goes back to the states. Most states will have abortion. That is legal. Brett Kavanaugh, Justice Kavanaugh of the Supreme Court, is a sexual predator in this woman's mind with absolutely no evidence to support the assertions of Dr. Ford. She just accused him of something, so he's now a sexual predator. Do you see how pointless it would be for someone to sit down and have a conversation about these topics with someone as left and crazy and socialist as this person here? She can't even answer a simple question. She wants to bring up Roe versus Wade and, and coat hangers and all kinds of bullshit when that is not even part of the discussion. Okay, please don't be a robot, Monica. You're smarter than that. Uh, Tucker, not so sure about that statement. This is the Wait. governor of Virginia just saying this. I just want to know what you think of it. Is that okay? Does that bother you? It's a sincere question. This just me. happened. Okay, it bothers me that you are attempting to control women's bodies. Tucker Carlson himself. Or he's representing evil, white, conservative men. And that's all I want to do is get to control of your body. Last time I checked, Monica, you have full control of your body. You can use birth control. You cannot. You can have an abortion. You don't have to have an abortion. You can get pretty much free birth control in this country. All you got to do is take it. Or you don't have to take it. You can go get an abortion. You can give it up for adoption. You can have a baby. You can do anything you want. Tucker is asking you about a specific thing. Can babies be aborted post-birth? As was the gist of the bill in Virginia. And you cannot answer that. No, that's, that's what you're doing. You are. Bodies. The Republican you have Party the right now Look, is working if you overtime think, to repeal okay. Roe v. Wade and to take away choice in every I single state. If, you if I can find one state. Uh, would that uh, refute your argument? New York. Thank you. Do you think you're convincing anybody or if your unwillingness to address what just happened today on tape? She can't, Tucker. 
you know, I, keep, I hate to keep saying, she is not programmed to answer. She is not programmed to cogitate. She is programmed to recite talking points programmed into her brain in college when she went to Oberlin. That we just played is a sign that you can't defend this. And if you can't defend it, I wonder why that is. Have you paused to ask yourself as an American, as a person, what do I, I mean, as a woman, you what do I think your- of that? As a woman, what do I think of it? Yeah, that's a simple freaking question. Do you think it's good policy to allow post-birth abortion, as was discussed in the Virginia bill? Is this good policy? Have you asked yourself why you spend so much time talking about this rather than thinking about why your party is trying to repeal Roe v. Wade and control women's bodies? What can you honestly say? Tucker, rarely does he get frustrated, but once in a while he does, and you can see in his eyes he's just... Fuck me. Right now, there are seven states where there's only one abortion clinic. You know what you could do, Monica, if you don't like that? Why don't you move to those states and open up abortion clinics? (laughs) Uh, Oh, you mean abortion clinics have to make money? Maybe women in those states are being responsible. Have you given that any thought? Okay, there are four states with trigger bans where we would, if Roe v. Wade is repealed, women cannot get reproductive health care. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bull, bull, bullshit. She knows it. Tucker knows it, I know it, you know it. It would put it back in the hands of the states and most states would have abortion. So nonsense, Monica. You are so full of shit. This is about a woman's right to choose and you as a man should not have a single say in that. Well, Monica, conveniently enough, men actually do not have a say. (laughs) Wow. Do you think that you're making a case that most people agree with? No, no, no. She's actually making the opposite case. She thinks she's out there, well, feminine, from abortions and all. She's making the case in front of the American people right now who might be on the fence or maybe not as pro-choice as this woman is here. And they're rethinking themselves to themselves. They're saying, this, this, this woman wants post-birth abortions. The people of Virginia in the assembly introduced a bill to make it legal to kill your baby after it is born. Your argument, Monica, is having the direct opposite effect of what you think it is. That it's okay to abort a child in the third trimester Tucker, for no... Tucker, you can no... keep trying to put words no, it's, in my it's... mouth and keep trying are to you... say that the Democratic Party is yeah. hurting children. I, I have but to say... But your party is the one that is tearing families well, apart at the border and allowing children to party. die in federal custody. Yeah, how many kids died in federal custody? Was it two, one or two? It's, it's a sad thing, don't get me wrong. Tell us, uh, Monica, about the 50 million babies that have been murdered since Roe versus Wade. So whose party is actually harming children? Oh, that's right. You don't believe that that baby is a child. You believe it's a lump of cells. What about when it's coming out of the vagina? Is it a child then? Oh, no. You can still abort it. Hell, shit it out. Abort it after. Why not? It's a woman's right. Wow. I just, let me just ask you one quick question. I mean, this is obviously a pointless conversation. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think less of you uh, after, I I have to say. But it's, it's an honest question. Mm. Have you thought about it? Do you have a real answer to what the governor of Virginia said, or are you going to throw yet another talking point at me? I mean, have you actually thought about it? Will you answer that question? She can't. Tucker, she's a robot. She's like a computer program. She can't answer the question. And let me give you my opinion on it. If she comes out and says, I agree, there should be some restrictions on abortion. You see my point? I have thought about it, and I am telling you you that your party is attempting to change the conversation about Roe v. Wade. Your party is attempting to change the conversation. You mean like you have the entire fucking time, right, Monica? Take control for women's bodies. I'm sorry that as a man, what you're focused on is controlling women's bodies, but we will not allow you to do that. This is a child who's been born... This is not a woman's body. This is an it independent just person. It confuses me why you the- pretend that you have concerns over children when you're completely fine with ICE right. tearing families apart and children dying in federal All custody. Right. Monica, thank you. I, I appreciate it. <sighs> Links below. James Maxwell. Thank you for listening.